Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today I wasn't intending on coming out to make a vlog. I'd penciled in today as a sort of admin day because tomorrow I'm doing a Christmas fair at the Harris Museum where I've had my photographs exhibited before in their open exhibition. But they've got a Christmas fair and then I apply to sell my calendars and sell some prints and I've got a stall for tomorrow and on Sunday. So I was gonna package everything up and sort everything. But then this morning I looked out the window and we've had this beautiful frost overnight and it was just calling me out. So I've come down to my local park again, as you can see. I think I'm gonna find myself shooting here a lot more over the coming months because it's so easy and accessible. And also I've barely scratched the surface with it, which is what I've said before. There's so much opportunity in different conditions and there's some wonderful trees and stuff like that. So basically, like I did on my last vlog, I'm basically going to walk the same route and instead of focusing on the autumn detail, I'm going to focus on the frost and hopefully the pond lake area that I took some shots at before will be, will have a bit of ice and I'll be able to find some leaves and do some intimate shots before the frost thaws and get some detail of frost on leaves and stuff but I've just taken one first shot literally as I've entered the park the park's behind me here and there's this collection of trees and you can see the frost steaming off the trees as the sun hits them and the sun's in the background and I've taken this shot and it just looks it just looks lovely it's not a it's not an amazing shot by any means but there's just this collection of three trees I'm in the shadow of one tree. I'm shooting into the sunlight. I've put the sun behind the tree on the left, but just in the distance, it just, everything kind of, the, the frost and the thaw is just raising as the sun hits it. Excuse me if you can't hear me for a second as they go past. Yeah, the, you, everything's just lifting. So there's this thin layer of fog, mist, steam coming off the, off the floor in the distance which is lovely i'm just going to take another one as everything's changing the conditions are they're all right there's not much cloud in the sky there's not much detail in the sky at all but this shot just looks lovely just a little collection of trees the sun shining through in the back and you've got this you, i'm using the shadow of the tree to sort of lead you into the shot so i'm just going to spend a few minutes here have a little play I'm using my 50 mil at the moment, but I might be better wide, I'm not sure. But if it's any good, I'll pop it up in a minute, and then I'm going to head over to the lake, pond area, down by the waterfall. And yeah, definitely finish off with a brew today, because it is freezing. I hope you enjoyed those pictures. I've taken a few others on the way over. I really want to start submitting more to my local news and weather channel because they tend to use local images. So I've had one on the telly before, which was great a couple of years ago, but I've not really submitted anything recently. But these conditions are beautiful when, they're talk when the weather people are talking about frost and frosty mornings and stuff like that. So I've taken a couple of them. Hopefully I can get home and get them sent over and they might use them tonight on the weather forecast. Anyway, I digress. I have come over to this lake, pond area, water area, which I've shot at before. I was trying to take a picture of this tree, but it's proving difficult, more difficult than I thought. So I'm gonna turn my attention to detail. As you can see, the, the water is iced over and it looks beautiful. And the, the long grass and the reeds and stuff coming out of that just look amazing, the textures. So I'm going to get the long lens out and shoot into the water, hopefully capture some beautiful detail of the ice. And obviously the, the grass isn't moving, even if it was windy, which it isn't. It's still today, it's all frozen solid. So hopefully that will make quite a nice image. It's a beautiful morning, a cold and frosty morning, but it's beautiful. There's also some amazing, let me take you over here. I need to be quick, time is of the essence because the sun is coming up. But as you can see, if I can get 
a bit of detail on the leaves and the twigs and the branches and the little buds on the trees and stuff like that and there's a bit of there's still a bit of autumnal color remaining so it's quite a nice juxtaposition between the autumn and the winter it's kind of like coming through mid-season which is quite nice right anyway that sun is rising rapidly so i'm going to try and capture some images i think the images that i've shot so far they don't look like the local park which is what i wanted i wanted nice landscape images and i think shooting into the sun as well that helps because with the with the mist and the rising the rising steam off the off the frost it kind of blankets and clouds out that background which might look a bit too maintained parky which i don't want it to look like but yeah right long lens and we'll see what we can get from this frozen water area So I hope you like those pictures as well. I'm just walking down to the waterfall brook, a little bit of a river area, and I had to stop because this tree just caught my attention. Hopefully you can see it with the sun dappling through there. There's a beautiful, that bit, that bottom branch which arches over, it just looks wonderful. So I've ditched my long lens because I wanted to get a little bit of foreground, this long grass, this long frosty grass, which is just thawing out and occasionally a, like a dew drop drops out. But this, this scene is beautiful. So I've gone 50 mil and I've got rid of the rest of the tree and I'm just focusing on that archway, which sort of frames the top of the image. And then you've got a little bit of long grass in the foreground, but the sun coming through in the background, it's sort of creating some nice layers so it just looks nice I'm focused on the tree it might look really nice in black and white I'm trying to blow the background out quite a bit so that branch stands out and it just looks quite magical and not in the park which is I've already said is what I want it's not somewhere near the play equipment and near the cafe it's it could be somewhere else but shooting locally, you can capture those images on your doorstep in your local park. That's kind of the ethos I want to put across. So this, this really happy with this. You might have noticed that tree as well. I want to get something with that. I don't know how. I just want to focus on this one first as this sun changes and moves around. Well, yeah, I'd, there's a shot here. There's definitely, I've, I've got a couple already, but I think there could be something special from this tree. So yeah, stick with me. I'll pop an image up from here, possibly from up there, and then I'll head down through the woods to the waterfall. Okay, so you've found me down by this waterfall and there's been a lot of rain, obviously, because I've never seen this flowing so quickly. 
and the pool at the bottom is absolutely rammed full of water it's coming up the sides further than I've ever seen it but so much so there's obviously been that much water it's flown a it's pushed some branches downstream so a bit like last time when I was trying to focus on individual leaves I'm going to try and focus on a section of this autumnal brown dingy orange branch which has got some lovely shapes in it as well as colours and hopefully I can get a nice interesting slightly abstract shot with the water rushing around that but around here it's beautiful the sun is creating this these conditions this they're not they're not amazing on the back of the camera it's hard to put that sheer awesomeness of being here into a single image I'm gonna get this get this shot in the bag hopefully and then I've spotted over there in the distance there's quite a nice scene with some with some trees and just the last bit of autumn hanging on some nice orange leaves which hopefully I can make pop in the scene but yeah beautiful day out really really chilly but hopefully some really good images everywhere you look I, I walked down through the through the woods and I thought autumn would have gone by now but especially in the middle of the woods or the sort of tree area the little sections of trees they're hanging on they are the color is hanging on so it's lovely to still be able to capture that when there's this thick frost which is absolutely ruining my toes because I didn't I couldn't find my walking boots so I put my trainers on and they are very wet so yeah a cup of tea is definitely calling but I'm gonna grab this shot head over there grab that hopefully and then head to my trees and hopefully there'll be something around there before I get a cup of tea Well, what a difference a couple of weeks makes I'm at my favorite trees and as you can see compared to the autumn vlog that I put out a few weeks ago especially this front tree it's come oh, it's pretty much completely bare compared to the the luscious beautiful colored leaves that it had on it two weeks ago but I kind of prefer it like this I found it hard to shoot when it was covered in leaves it didn't have the same reason about it which which is why i fell in love with it it wasn't there i like it when it's stripped back and you can see the chaos and the confusion of the branches and you can actually throw it you can actually see all three trees which you can't you kind of couldn't previously of course I'll have to do a bit of Photoshop because they've got the little bollards telling you what they are and when they were planted and stuff like that but I've I've got this shot set up here and it's gonna be the last shot of the day and it looks lovely it just feels like it's missing something I'm focused on the front tree the one on the right and the branches at the front because they've got still got a little bit of frost on them and they're a bit red so that's sort of red red and white frosty thing is beautiful but it's missing something I'm just gonna take another one as the light changes the thing that I think it's missing is what I did the first time I found these trees and a little bit of mist so I'm gonna use my breath although it's getting a bit warmer so you might not be able to see my breath quite as much I'm gonna use my breath to create my own mist in front of the lens and hopefully that will add that little bit of atmosphere that I think it's lacking I'll pop that up in a minute it's been a lovely little morning really enjoyed it especially as it was an unexpected one I captured some lovely images one, one I'll put up before I put this one up 
there's a really well-known iconic historical building in the park here and they're on about it's, it's kind of gone into rack and ruin a little bit they're on about bringing it back to life but there's also a fountain uh, probably 50 or 60 yards in front of it and because we've had so much rainfall that is full so I've used that as a reflection pool and it's a shot I've never seen from here before it might have been done before but I've never considered it before so I've got really close to it and I've used that as a reflection pool and you've got this beautiful reflection of the historical well historical for this region this area building in its current state before they start doing it up and that's reflected and then there's some trees reflected and some paths and stuff reflected so it's a little bit different to what i've been trying to capture here this morning in the sense of it not looking like the local park because that is a local park shot but hopefully if i share that online tagging the local council and a few of the local newspapers and stuff that might get a nice little bit of exposure for me but as i say this is going to be my last shot i'm going to create my own mist and capture these beautiful trees that i've fallen in love with over the last year and then I'm going to head home, send a picture into Granada, send a picture across to the council, as I said. And then I need to get my stuff ready for the fair tomorrow, which will be very exciting. I don't know if this vlog will be up before then, but if not, if you don't manage to get into Preston to see me, you can still order calendars online and contact me for any prints. I'm going to be selling a load of frame prints over the weekend. But if there's anything that you particularly like, just contact me for a price. I don't charge the earth and all the money that I get just goes straight back into the channel. So as always, stick around for the pictures. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.